Hi, Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com, here in my studio today. Last week, we learned how to paint this echinacea bloom. And um, so if you haven't uh, seen that video, you might want to uh, back up a week and, and check out that video. I've added a couple of different colors to my little uh, foam palette. And um, one of them is Hooker's Green. I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. And now I'm going to add a little bit of blue. I like that darker color, particularly for echinaceas. Okay, so I'm going to start back up under here with the stem and bring it down. Now if I'm if I'm easy, not too much pressure. Now I'm getting more pressure as I come down. There, okay. So now I'm just going to pick up a little bit more and I'm going to put a stem there's a stem. There's a stem. I'm going to go way far out with this one. And now I need one more. And the reason I need one more is because your eye likes odd numbers. I painted this once before and I only had four stems on there and it looked horrible. <laughs> it, your eye is just begging for that fifth, that seventh, that odd number. When you put an even number up there, it's, it's begging to see something more. Okay, so here I'm going to bring in some more of the green. I'm not adding any more blue. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that right now, okay? I'm going to add some white in a minute off to the side. So here comes an echinacea leaf. I'm, I'm parallel or perpendicular again right there, pushing and twisting and pulling it back up to the point okay as i lift it off the paper i just try to i'm just trying to lift it off i'm not trying to um to stop here we go push twist and it's back on that point and i'm lifting it away from the paper it's real important that you learn how to lift away from the paper. And this is watercolor paper. It's 140 pound uh, paper. Here comes some more. I'm going to try to get a bigger one here. Push really hard. Spread those bristles out. And lift it off. Looks like a bug's been chewing on it. You know what? A bug very well could have been chewing on it. <laughs> okay, so here comes this one. And he's in a different sh um, orientation. See, this one's kind of coming down. These are going up. This one's going way up. He's going to actually cover over part of that one. Push. There. Okay. That makes it so interesting. And we got a little thing right here. That's what I'm shooting for in a second anyway. I'm going to wipe off as much of the green as I can. I'm going to pick up some white and I'm going to put it in that that I just wiped off. I don't, I can't change a whole pile of paint at one time. You can add, pull some off to the side and add to it, but you can't change a big pile of paint. Okay, so here I've got a lighter green. I didn't rinse my brush. I love what happened right here. It looks like the leaf's turning and that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Right here, I'm even, and now I'm going to push, and I'm going to pull it back up on the point. And now it looks like I'm, there's the front side of the leaf, and that's the back side of the leaf. And we're going to see what we can do. I don't really see that. Here's a good one right here. We can do this one. Go, pull it, push it, bring it back up. Now that one really looks turned. This one here is trying to do it all by itself just because I didn't mix my paint up so much. Here we go, right up there even. Pull it across, push it, and now get back up on that point. There you go, so it looks like that's turning. We can add a little stem there. There, we can 
add that color. Let's get it lighter. There. I'm going to try this one right in here. There we go. And this one here, I like it right in here. There we go. And we're going to add, there's the stem up the middle, up the middle. There we go. So practice, I showed you the video last week of how to do the echinacea blooms. And now I just show, this is very similar, these leaves are very similar uh, to that bloom in that the part that's going to flip up, you start out the same way, you put, get on there very straight, then push, then pick it back up. Now, it's going to take some practice, this, there's a learning curve involved here, and, but it's learning, it, it, it's it, practice, muscle memory shooting hoops, you know, always making the same move, hitting the baseball, playing the piano, practice. It takes practice for everything. So don't be discouraged if you're not perfect at this right away. Just know that you can get perfect. You can get better at it. You just have to practice that. You can watch me all day long, but you need to put miles on your brush. So thanks a lot. Have a great day. Visit my website, paintingwithacrylics101.com. And on there is a blog that has a basic, very beginner um, information. There's also a free class on there. Uh, it's a Painting with Daisies class. There's several other individual classes. There's a full-blown art course on there. And there's 11 modules in that art course that will take any beginner from the very beginning of what do I buy when I'm in the art store, <laughs> all the way through two great paintings. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Uh, let's paint together real soon.